Hello. Today we will see Boni Musen side of Repertive. Uh, Since few lectures we are listening to the history of Repertory. Initially we have seen why there was a need of Repertory. Then we have seen the Hanuman and era of Repertory. Now today we will see the Boni Musen side of Repertory. Before saying this, we will say to it that what was the historical scenario during that time before the Boni Musen era begin. Let me remind you that the Boni Musen era starts from 1832 till 1896. So what was the historical scenario was that most of the physicians have understood the need and utility of repertory. They have understood repertory is a useful subject and in the practice of homeopathy it is very useful. They have also understood that repertory making is not a difficult task, it is an easy task and they have understood how they have to make repertory and there was a continuous efforts were going on for improvisation of repertory from various thought processes it was very clear cutly evident that in this burning ocean era there was also continuous effort for improvisation and all this has uh, resulted into enthusiastic uh, pursuit of subject and that enthusiastic uh, pursuit of the subject in the burning ocean era has resulted into a lot of uh, flood of uh, repertory and that flood of repertory or that whole uh, repertory we can study in the Boni Mosen era by dividing this uh, Boni Mosen era into few important landmark and there are there is mainly two important landmark one is we see that in the early part from 1832 to 1869 uh, there is a dominance of uh, Bonimusen's philosophy, even though the author was not the Bonimusen, other uh, author have published, but clear cut evidence of Bonimusen's philosophy, Bonimusen's method of repertory making was seen on them. And then in the late part, from 1879 to 1896, there was a downfall of the Bonimusen's philosophy. So many people have started criticizing and pointing out the drawback of this repertory. Then, during this Boni Musen era, the repertories were also published in different countries and in different languages. And th there was also different thought processes which was revolving or evolving in the field of repertory around the main enthusias enthusiasm of improving repertory. Now we will see the first uh, dominance of Boni Musen era. During this period from 1832 to 1869, the repertory man, the Boni is called as father of repertory, has continuously and industriously worked himself and has come out with the four repertories within the short uh, time period of 14 years uh, for others preparing and publishing one repertory is a lifetime task, For but for Boni it is not only one, the Boni Hussein goes on and on with publishing of four different repertory and the Boni Hussein has a great contribution in the field of repertory. Now we will see that what is, his, what is his contribution. In the year 1832, there was a repertory of antisorics which was prefaced and admired by, by Hanuman, the master of homeopathy. Then within a short period of three years, he has again come out with a repertory of medicines which are non-antisoric. In 1836, he has uh, shown an deviation from Materia Medica indexing. He has now come out with an index of showing the relative kinship of various homeopathic medicines under the title and attempt of showing relative kinship of homeopathic medicine. Then. After a gap of 10 years, he has compiled all these three uh, works into one common repertory, that is uh, therapeutic pocket book. And it is not only just a compilation of all this, these three previous three repertories, but it was altogether a new thought process. Then there were also other works, uh, but they were under the dominance of Boningusen mainly there was in 1833 repertory of purely pathogenetic effect by Weber Pasteur which was prefaced by Hanuman and this is the second repertory which has fortune to be prefaced by Hanuman in the field of repertory. 
then in the 1835 jhar sri patrick come out you must remember you must be remembering uh, the incomplete work of jhar in the hanimanan area hanimanan era which was uh, not satisfied really and rejected by hanimanan the jhar meanwhile has completed his exam and come out with a volume three volumes of uh, repertory under the name of jhar's repertory but still it was under the influence of boning ocean then in 1837 rof has published a rof repertory and which was published in the stuart gard uh, germany then repertory of nosology another repertory by rof the focusing mainly on the diagnostic symptoms mainly on the diagnostic terminologies and the medicines that is repertory of nosology in 1840 then for the english uh, learners or for the english homeopathic physicians dr hempel has translated bonigusen therapeutic pocket book in the english language then in the year 1849 moore has published his uh, repertory moore's repertory then a repertory of characteristic homeopathic uh, remedies were also published by pozard by in the year 1853 a repertory of comparative materia medica by lipen in 1854 cipher repertory the first english uh, repertory or the first repertory by individual repertory by english homeopathic physician that is cipher repertory in the year 1859 then the another uh, important landmark was we have seen that there was enthusiastic pursuit of this uh, repertory subject and initially this uh, enthusiasm was only limited up to the germany but later on slowly slowly it has been this enthusiasm has traveled into the various countries and this enthusiasm has also kindled the minds various young minds various uh, innovative minds for development of repertory so mainly in the persia in the year 1843 a homeopathic repertory of homeopathic symptomatology by lafite was published and it has honor of being the first french repertory then in the england 1838 a repertory was published in the allentown academy by constantine hering and it is the first uh, repertory in the english language uh, it was in the year 1838 now this repertory of allentown academy has a lot of impact on the various other repertory which has been published after uh, words then in india a f- christianary revolutionary or kish- christian missionary father muller has also come out with a uh, in the year 1885 manual of homeopathy and this repertory as a, as an honor of being the first indian repertory then the america was more enthusiastic uh, in the de- in the development of repertory and five or six repertories were published by various uh, stalwarts mainly in that dr lipay repertory of more characteristic symptom of materia medica in 1879 one year after immediately 1880 symptom register by t f alim 1881 analytical repertory by constantine hering in 1890 concordance repertory by gentry 1896 near Uh, has come out with a repertory to the hearing guiding symptom of our homeopathic materia medica and all these three repertories which were published in the america af- after year 1869 has also some kind of different thought process which were not uh, under the dominance of boningusen then among england few more repertories were popularly used but the historical year is not known the regional symptomatology and clinical dictionary by buck Hempel Boningusen's repertory, which is which was a translation of BTPB, then Curie's repertory, then Hanimanian Society repertory by Drisdel and uh, Dudgeon, and then in the last part, that is after 1879 to 1896, we see various thought processes were there in the whole uh, Boningusen era. so in the early part under the dominance of boning ocean sera that is from 1832 to 1896 a few more repertories with a different thought processes were published but they were still under the dominance of uh, boning ocean among that the important thought process was alphabetical repertory 
the arrangement of uh, repertory was in alphabetical manner and mainly in the year 1833 by Glazer alphabetical pocket repertory in year 1848 Clotter Muller published alphabetical repertory then Bryant in the year 1853 published alphabetical repertory now in after 1869 or after 1879 few more repertories were published but they were under the influence of boning oceans that that this transitionary period of 1869 to 1879 few more thought process repertories was evident but they were under the influence of boning ocean under that mainly the repertory was not limited only up to matra medica pura but it has also included the various uh, clinical and regional repertories among that mainly bales diarrhea in the year 1869 and beerage i repertory in the 1873 one more uh, mechanically added or mechanically added repertory in the form of card repertory was published which helps in the task of elimination of uh, remedy very easily and that thought process was firstly evident in the form of card repertory by gunsey in the year 1888 then in the late part uh, repertory of more characteristic symptom of mater america which was published in the 1879 which stressed on the various mental symptom which was not there up to that time then in the late part in the america we have seen two important uh, repertories were published and they all together has criticized a lot of uh, thought process of boning ocean lot of philosophy of boning ocean and they have said that, they, that this is not the way how repertory should be created how repertory should be made but it should focus mainly on the pure symptoms of the prover and accordingly this thought process is called as puritan group of repertory and which was evident in the 1890 by concordance repertory by gentry and then in 1896 repertory to hearing guiding symptom of homeopathic matra medica by dr c b neer and so all these thought processes has ended into a lot of flood of uh, repertory and then finally this has created a more uh, confusion and it has paved for few more uh, repertories so in 1874 homeolexicon uh, by grenier of nimes then symptom register by t f allen in the year 1880 analytical repertory by herring in the 1881 and this has uh, created a background to for one more legion to come out with his different thought process and clear all this confusion that is kentian era that we will see later on